Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at some of the best iOS 16 home screen widgets that you can get for your device in 2023. Now home screen widgets are an amazing feature, but it seems like a lot of people are actually just disregarding this feature and not using it at all because of course not many new widgets are being created now for iOS 16, but there are plenty of those that you can install and they are pretty good and some of them very useful. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the best of them that you can get on your device in 2023. Now before we get started with the first one, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, it really helps a lot. And we're starting things off with social widget. Now this is one of the few widgets that will actually display your followers count account on your home screen for Twitter, YouTube, Instagram and Facebook as well and it is free so all you have to do is head on into the app and add your accounts so if we go here into the app tap the plus button we can add here Twitter YouTube TikTok and Instagram and once you have added those simple to add just tap on one of them and just add right here your account or any other account you want and then add the widget on your home screen once you have added the widget you simply 3d touch on the widget tap edit widget choose the account that you want to show there from the accounts that you have added then you can choose wrong numbers or not and they will be displayed on your home screen next up is insta widget this one is for instagram and it's actually pretty cool it will show you recent posts from any account that you choose on instagram in this case i've chosen here the nba account and it will show me recent posts from this account it's pretty easy to set up you head on into the app and you just go ahead and add the instagram account there and you choose here how many of the recent posts you want to see so if i just want to see the 200 most recent po posts of nba in this case i can just go ahead and tap that and of course now we're good to go they will be displayed here and of course it changed automatically on the home screen next up is g info and this will add a lot of beautiful widgets to your home screen you can see here i have a few of them we have two smaller ones for the data users so we have wi-fi and seller as well and the battery right there this one right here pretty cool it will show you everything you need to know for your device the cpu there you will have cpu usage memory usage and storage usage as well and you will have all your info right there and of course the day and the date you head on into the app and you will see the app is also pretty cool it will show you all kinds of different information you'd need to know regarding your device and it has a lot more widgets so let's just head on to the widgets panel real quick so if we go here you can see we have memory we have storage battery data widget network widget right there anything you want you can see how cool these are and how many info they will display on your home screen next up is widget now of course i have to include widget on most of my widgets videos because this is an app that will have everyday new widgets and they're actually really really cool so you can see we have some new ones right there at the top this bigger one you can see how cool that is it will have a few apps there a dock here and any of these apps can be opened from here you will have there your battery the current weather and all the things that you need to know regarding your device we have one for the battery here which looks really cool and we have the smaller one right here that displays all kinds of different information regarding your device now on widget what you can do is actually go to explore here go to home so you will have home screen lock screen watch and you will have the subreddit there as well and every day you will find beautiful new widgets for your home screen next up is widget now this one is one of my favorites it is a simple app with simple small widgets it doesn't offer bigger size widgets but you can actually customize these any way you like and make them look really really cool so you can see we have two of those right here we have one with four different elements and we have the other one with just two so you head into the app and you can go here to new widget and you will have a bunch of widgets you can add like photos and things like that then you will have duos trios and quattros as well so you tap on one of them and you can actually customize these with colors and anything else you want different gradients and then you can choose what you want to see on each of these places so we have the clock there we can go ahead and change to date maybe or add any emoji you want or anything and just make sure you customize the way you like it tap on save then you will have it here once you have added the widget simply 3d touch here tap on edit widget and choose whichever one you want to see on your home screen 
Next up is Binance. Now Binance is a very popular app when it comes to crypto. So if you're interested on cryptos, then Binance of course offers some really amazing and very useful widgets for your home screen. So we have a few of those here. You can have your favorite one right there, your favorites here on the smaller one, and of course some of the top coins are right there on that medium one. It offers all kinds of different like widgets. You have bigger and smaller ones. Now the only thing I don't like about this is that you cannot add actually edit the widget and pick whichever coin you want to see there it will just show your favorites that you have on your app but it updates and it's actually pretty cool and very very useful to get all these information without having to open the app at all next up is music view now music view will allow you to connect the app to spotify or apple music and you will have the controls right on your home screen so i can control the music from the widget. I can actually go forwards or backwards, switch between songs, play and pause, and even seek here with 30 seconds forward or backwards directly from the home screen, which is really, really cool. And it offers a ton of different widgets, which you can also customize. You can see this one right here and the one at the top, which you can fully customize, actually tap right there, tap on edit widget, and you can choose here different themes that you want to use for that widget. And of course, it will show way different controls and different views and all that. Going to edit widget on this one, you can show the actions, you can show or not the seek buttons, you can close on tap, and then you will have the theme as well. So you can choose any theme you want, you can choose system or any other color you want. And again, you can play pause and of course, skip forwards back Works all that with the controls directly from your home screen. Next up is Super Fan. Now, of course, this is a must have app for any sports fan. You can have your favorite team right on your home screen, it will show you their most recent games. And of course, the next day, where there is no game, it will show you the next game that they will be playing. So right here, you can see we have two of those. It has only the smaller widget, but you can add multiple of those and of course, choose different themes on each one of them. So you 3D touch on the widget, tap on edit widget, and you can go ahead and tap on team here and just search any team you want. And you can go ahead and have it right on your home screen. Or you can set a, a whole league like right here, I have NBA. So it will show for all the teams of the NBA. And of course, will show the most recent games what that will be coming up today. Next is Apollo. Now, if you use Reddit, you need to have Apollo, especially if you don't use the app, use it for the widgets. It has awesome widgets and it offers a ton over 10 different widgets which are really cool you can have wallpapers you can have different posts you can have your subreddits right on your home screen so right there you can hear you can see i have four of my favorite subreddits and i can go ahead and of course open any of them directly from here and i have here posts on grid view posts right here multiple posts on the smaller one and a single post on a smaller one as well so a ton of different widgets that you can add from Apollo and have all your things that you need from Reddit right on your home screen. And last but not least is special dates. Now with special dates, you can have your upcoming events right on your home screen. And you can see right here, we have three different widgets from this app. So we have a medium one that it will show the upcoming three events. And then we have a single one. And then we have a smaller one with the upcoming three events as well. So whichever format you want to choose. And of course, whichever format will suit you better. So these are the apps for this video. I hope you guys enjoy the video and all the widgets that you saw on this video. If you want to download any of these, make sure you check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Again, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Now we'll see you on the next one.